Hey guys, it's Andrew again. And uh, I said earlier I'm headed west because I never really thought about this earlier, but this is some really exciting, this is a really exciting opportunity for myself and for boondockers and for Newfoundland and for the West Coast. You may have seen, we've started doing these podcasts or these vlogs or whatever it is that you want to call them, vignettes is what my cousin David calls them. It's a, I love that word, vignettes. But we've been talking about, you know, just finding our ground and finding, you know, what it is exactly that we're, that we're trying to do with all of this. And one of the things that I've often suggested is that Newfoundland would make a great testing ground. And this all hails back to the, ori the original Tech Vest. And I don't know if you guys remember when the Tech Vest first came out. My goodness gracious. I want to guess I got my first Tech Vest in, I want to say 2000. It might have been 2001, but I'm thinking 2000. And I'm thinking the first time that I tried, saw, wore a Tech Vest was at Eagle Mountain Lodge on the west coast of Newfoundland. And unfortunately, guys, it's shocking and I haven't had more time to prepare for this. So please forgive me. And I'm sure someone is gonna fill me in on this regardless, but the gentleman that started Tech Vest was staying at Eagle Mountain Lodge the same time that we were there. And he was testing his new jacket. His plan that year, because it was late in the spring, we never, listen guys, the first time I ever rode Eagle Mountain it was the 22nd of April, and I had already put away my sled for the winter. In fact, if I recall correctly, I had sold my sled. I did, and it was 2000. It's great about sledding, isn't it? It really gives you a way to divide time based on the year of your sled. I had an SXR 500 Yamaha. Uh, it was a 2000 SXR 500. I put 5,800 kilometers on it that year with Brian Seward. Extraordinary year. It was our first year snowmobiling on the West Coast. I had sold my sled. I had moved back to St. John's for the, for the spring, for the summer. And I got a call from Joey Smallwood. Joey was, we were, we were going snowmobiling. And I say, Joey, man, there's no snow on the West Coast. I just sold the sled. Yeah, no, Eagle Mountain, man, Eagle Mountain. And I was like, there's no, anyway, I figured the worst case scenario, we'd be, we'd get into a, we'd have a good party out on the west coast of the island. And I jumped aboard the truck with him and we drove across the island. Now I remember it was a Friday night, heading in over Taylor's Brook Road at 11 o'clock at night, pitch black, drive no snow, no snow, no snow. This is 22nd of April now, not a blade of snow. And I remember looking at Joey and saying, man, I am going to kill you, right? Like, who are you? Who are you? Just keep going. And I can't remember what kilometer we got to. I want to say 38. Might have been 58. Again, I'm certain somebody will make some comments on the, on the remarks underneath this that will provide us with an actual, an actual indication of how far we traveled that evening. But whatever it was, when we got to that kilometer, we made that last little rise and the windows were down in the truck. Beautiful evening, starry night. And all of a sudden this waft of cold air came into the truck and we struck the snow. A little bit further, the road ended. We unloaded the sleds. We rode into Eagle Mountain. It was the first time that we were ever there. It was a crowd that were already in ahead of us, including these gentlemen from TechFest who were testing their equipment. They had planned on doing their testing, I think it was in Idaho that year. Point was, we had an extraordinary weekend. Like, I mean, it was a ridiculous weekend. The snow conditions were superb. Nice mix, temperatures all over the place. Get up in the morning, everything was froze solid. By, you know, mid late morning, things were starting to soften up. We got into some really, really good spring style conditions. Right, so what we were getting really was a blend of everything. And this, and the reason I'm making this post and the reason that I'm pretty excited about what we're about to do this weekend is on account of the fact that our friend from TechVest was talking about what an opportunity we had in Newfoundland to test not just his TechVest products, but to test all winter products. Because we had such a long season, we had so many, such a great variety of conditions, we could test so many seasons all within, you know, at, at this time of year, within the same window. 
<laughs> the fact that it was a safe environment so that your testers were never really in any true danger. Right? That's one thing we always say about the weather in Newfoundland, as extreme as it seems or appears, it's never going to actually kill you. He thought that this would make a great test facility. It has always sat in the back of my mind as a great marketing opportunity. And guys, here we are today. And lo and behold, and, and again, the timing is perfect. Dan Gardner has reached out to us about doing podcasts. We've started doing these vlogs, these vignettes. You know, our, our blogging career has kind of waffled. And we just got a call to test the new Boondockers links all the way from the European continent. This is a Scandinavian snowmobile product. It's look, it, it, it's basically, from what I understand, and I, again, I, I, stand, I can stand corrected, it is a Bombardier product, a BRP product. It goes under the brand Lynx. We are going to have an opportunity to test it. From what I understand, in Scandinavia, they don't have groomed trails. Now, let me assure you. While we have groomed trails in Newfoundland, right, and hats off to the Western Snow Riders and to all the different clubs and associations and the great network of trails that we have and the great government support and all of you people that buy your trail passes, we do have some nice trails here in Newfoundland. But what we really have, what makes Newfoundland such a great snowmobile environment is the backcountry. It's the freedom to ride pretty much without any kind of restrictions. Right? One of the things that we found when we first went to Utah and we went to the States and we started riding with the Boondockers crew is that it wasn't, in a lot of cases guys, it wasn't what you knew. Right? It wasn't how good a rider you were. Right? A lot of the determination in those areas was who you knew. Right? And when I say that, it meant did you know the rancher in Nevada? who allowed us access by using his range to get into the Ruby Mountains. Right, because in Newfoundland, look, all of this, everything that you see out your my side window, and I don't know how much you have been able to see, <clears throat> excuse me, but all of this is what we call in Newfoundland, Crown Land. And everybody has access to us. As a result, we have an awful lot of wild terrain that is not groomed and which will be ideal for this new Boondockers Lynx and the type of chassis and the style of riding, that free backcountry, get out there and rough it up kind of riding. I'm really looking forward to this opportunity. I want to thank BRP. I want to thank Lynx. I want to thank, uh, obviously, our boys at Central Cycle. I keep calling it Central Service. They're both Bombardier dealers, uh, both really good friends of ours, the Callahans and the West Coast are really close to us. Um, but we're going to have a chance to, to get out and see this. I want to say thanks to my buddy for inviting me. And I'm really looking forward to your reaction to what our test reviews uh, resolved this weekend. Because I think you're going to get a really honest, a really honest review of this equipment this weekend. There's no sponsored riders here. This is, uh, in fact, you know, our leaning in this environment, like one of the guys is a hardcore arty cat. Hardcore arty cat. Uh, as a matter of fact, I got an arty cat in the trailer behind me right now that he was pretty excited about seeing it. So I don't know, it was 400 horsepower, 385 horsepower, something ridiculous like that. I call it a Barry Mulrooney special in the uh, in the trailer behind me. But we're going to test drive the, the new Lynx. And uh, hopefully we're going to give you a really good review and some uh, feedback as to what this... I know that everybody that's with us, that's really good riders. That's one thing you can be a, a certain of. A lot of this crew are the same crowd that started Boondockers back in 2002. And despite the fact that, look, I am a much older man, some of these guys were kids when we first started Boondockers. In fact, one of the guys that's riding with us today was only 15 years of age. Yeah, hard to believe. We'll uh, we'll see how this is going to play out, and I'm really looking forward to being able to post this and being able to answer some of your questions and give you some uh, response as to what it is that we're dealing with here. Right now, I'm dealing with a lack of gas. Thankfully, we're almost in the end. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks very much.